Uh, good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today, my special guest is Jessica. And uh, Jessica, you came to the farm, and we've done some uh, project yesterday. We did some taping together. Mm -hmm. I wanted to let people know about what you're doing and what your vision is and what your passion is. And, you know, you're just very energetic. I think you've got a lot to share with this whole regenerative agriculture movement. And so that's why I wanted to, you know, give you a plug and give you a chance to explain kind of what you, what is your passion? What, what's this all about? Thank you, Greg. Um, it really comes down to the integrity of our food. I'm very passionate about this. I'm concerned about where uh, things are headed, um, not just in the U.S., but globally. Yep. Uh, and so that's, that's something I feel a very strong calling towards. And um, in terms of yesterday, I think what's exciting is there's a new crop of people who are feeling that calling to return to the to the land. Yep. And I think that's in particular an interesting avenue to explore because so many people are recognizing if you don't have ownership over your food, you probably don't have ownership over your health. And though that kind of leads to potentially compounding problems, health problems, etc. So um, I think there's an opportunity potentially to highlight those people who are uh, exploring these new avenues. Yep. You were certainly giving a lot of advice uh, yesterday as right. well. Right, Well, you had some good questions. I mean, there was, you, you brought the point, Jessica, there's so many people coming back to the land that want to, mm -hmm. they might have 20 acres, 10 acres, five acres, whatever, but they, they want to control some of their food supply. Mm -hmm. They want to know where it comes from. Mm -hmm. And so when they get out on the land, it's kind of an open slate. They don't know where to start. Right. And in farming, there's a, there's a really good way to lose a lot of money, make a lot of mistakes. Unless mm -hmm. you do it, just do it right from the very start. And so, you know, you and I covered that in your video yesterday. So I think what the, some of the key points that you made or had me talk about, I think is it's exciting stuff that people need to learn. Mm -hmm. and, and it's going to be good information. And I think what's exciting is there are tangible steps, especially if you're at a point where you are beginning to look for land. How do you actually go from just looking to, okay, now we've found it, let's bite the bullet and, and go for it. And I think getting over that hurdle is what's so key. Yes. And that's often where most people probably end up is they never quite are able to get to the place where they feel confident. That they enough, can do it. That they can do it and have that belief in themselves. Right. And I think that's what I find so fascinating with your story is that inherent belief in yourself. And you know what, I'm gonna throw everything Yep. at this and I'm gonna make it work yep. no matter what no matter what come higher you know come hell or high water you're gonna make it work I, and yeah. I, yeah. I think that's so inspiring especially for for the younger generation well the one thing that you got out of me yesterday Greg if you're just gonna start out what is the number one thing that you think made you all successful mm -hmm. and you know of course it was a lot of hard work but the number one thing was um, you got to have passion. Yes. And passion gives you strength, and it also gets you through those tough patches. Because mm -hmm. you're going to have some tough patches when you start out on the farm. You're going to have mistakes. There's going to be things happening. You're like, oh, you're going to throw your hands in the air and take off running, screaming through the woods. Yes. You're like, what have I done? <laughs> but passion, um, if you have passion, that's, what, that's the glue that mm -hmm. gets you through those tough spots. Mm -hmm. And so we talked a lot about that yesterday, the different things that we did when we came up against obstacles. Yes. And so you're, you're kind of one of those. I mean, you've got some land, mm -hmm. and you're at that crossroads kind of, you know, we were talking there yesterday, you're like, you know, what would you do? And yes. so we talked about that some. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's, uh, it's going to be a good, a good uh, you know, video that we shot and some of the information on there. Where, where would people go to find something like that? I mean, wh what is your contact information on this? Right. So if, if you type into YouTube at County Clare Farm, so that's County C-O-U-N-T-Y, C-L-A-R-E. So County Clare Farm. County. County. C-O-U-N-T-Y. Yes. County. Clare Farm. Got it. Mm -hmm. County Clare. How do you declare C L A R E. R-E. Okay. So see. it's the Irish, Irish spelling. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. County Clare Farm. Farm. Mm -hmm. and that'll get you there. That'll get you there. 
Um, so you have to include the at symbol at the beginning, otherwise... Oh, oh it's the at is the very first symbol? Uh-huh, okay. uh, in the search bar. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, there's a lot that comes up for County Clare. Um, it's, it's a county in Ireland, in Western Ireland. Um, I've gone on geology field trips there. <laughs> That's actually where my, my family comes from originally, so that was the inspiration for the name. Um, and, and you are a geologist. I am a geologist, yeah. and uh, that's that's kind of what's paying the bills right now. Yep. Um, hey, don't want to apologize <laughs> for that. Jeff. I worked in town for 29 years, and I tell people, you know, when you're starting out, and you, you, you buy, especially young folks, folks, don't be ashamed of having an off-farm job to get started, mm -hmm. because it, it will help you get over those homes. It's, it's, you and I were talking today, Jessica. It's expensive. How does a young person get started yes. today? Yes. No, exactly. It's... I mean, you got about lease land. Mm -hmm. You can't go out and spend mm -hmm. a half a million dollars on land mm -hmm. and be in debt the rest of your mm -hmm. life. So. Well, and that ethos around debt, I think, is absolutely central. And because if, if you get yourself into a hole, then, then you could very easily lose it. You could, especially and... with interest rates. Yes. You know, they, they can get pretty high mm -hmm. like they are today. So I... I think the best thing is, you know, you got to have a home base, so to speak, mm -hmm. to, where you're going to live, mm -hmm. but don't drop your home nest egg in there. Yes. Keep that nest egg. I say keep some powder dry. <laughs> keep some gunpowder dry. And that gunpowder <laughs> is your money, your nest egg, and that is spent on livestock. And this is the key. I think for me, that has been the biggest takeaway uh, yep. from, from your school, also your videos, is very easily... It, there's certainly an allure to, oh gosh, wouldn't it be great to build a new shed yes. and put in a nice gravel drive on the farm. And, yeah. you know, there's, I think a lot of, a lot of this is calling and speaking to you and you have this vision in your head, gosh, wouldn't it be great if the farm looked like this? Yes. As opposed to, you know what, let's focus on what's actually generating cash flow. Well, Jessica, when we started, we didn't have a four wheeler. Hmm. We did. We didn't have a four wheeler. We had a. Two, I still got it in the shop up there. A two wheel dolly, like you move a fridge, <laughs> like you put underneath the refrigerator. Uh -huh. We had a two wheel dolly. <laughs> I'm serious. And Jan, we would strap on our wire on the bottom and use bungees to get our posts on. And I pulled and she pushed, and that's how we climbed these Rucker Mountains to get My to word. the top. That's how bad Jan and I wanted it. Uh huh. And then we got the cattle, they started generating income, then we bought a four-wheeler. Mm -hmm. And today we do have a shop, but mm -hmm. we didn't start out that way. Right. You know, and so that's what I say. I think a lot of people, they need to realize that they've got to learn to scrimp mm -hmm. and do without. Mm -hmm. And if you have to work hard for it, you're going to appreciate it more. Exactly. And those incremental baby steps, yes. each step is a step closer. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, yeah, I just, you know, I wanted the people be aware of what you're I mean, I think you're, you've got a really good message here, and um, you're trying to, you know, build that bridge in between a dream and actually, what's it going to take to actually yes. do it? Yes, and also to your point, it's it's not one year, two years. You have to have the patience and that ten year vision, and yeah. I think that's also so crucial. It's it it is daunting. You're taking on something which, you know, that's a decade. It so is. you're committing. <laughs> you are. You are. You're but committing to it. I tell people, don't even start unless you can give it 10 years. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to have some pretty tough years starting out. You're going to make some mistakes. There's things going to happen to you. But at that five-year level, if you're still in there, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden you're going to start to see the horizon up there. And then it's like, oh, I'm almost up to the top mm -hmm. of the mountain. And then you can get it. When you get to the top of the mountain, you look at it like, ah, it was worth it. Yes. You know? Yes. And that's, that's. The pinnacle. That's the pinnacle. And it takes work and it takes patience and learn to trust nature. Mm -hmm. Don't try and kill nature. Mm -hmm. I did that. I used to wake up in the morning and, what can I kill today? <laughs> <laughs> and I finally realized that I wasn't going to win that battle. But what I find so inspiring in particular about you and Jan is your ability to scale. And I think that's also something for people... Um, it's not just potentially getting into a place where you have cattle. It's what can you build from there? Right. And it, you know, so many avenues that you could go down. Um, but it's not just, you know, 
not just one pinnacle. There are so many. You you reach that yes. one and then you see another one ahead of you. Yes, and it's all exciting stuff because we're, you know, we are regenerating the land. Yes. And regeneration can take a lot of forms. It can mean making the soil better, your livestock better, your income better, your community better. You're you're bringing in more people. You you're you know you're building. You're mm -hmm. building. We're not sustaining. Right. I hate that word sustainable. Because right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you start with a really poor farm and you sustain it, you're not really doing anything. So, Jessica, thank you. Thank Thanks you, for Greg. your time. And again, folks, tell them again if they want to follow you in yes. this journey and the information you're putting out. So, how do you find you? At YouTube, for YouTube, type in at County Clare Farm or on Instagram, County Clare Farm as well. Uh, and Feel free also to reach out to me. I'm, I'm always eager to connect with people. All right, folks, thank you all for uh, checking in today. And uh, y'all be safe out there. If you would, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And we'll see y'all down the road.